quickly walk through the sum of squares and how to calculate it and kind of what it what it's doing what it means um so i have created this random set of um, data this is just variable a it doesn't matter what variable this is um, it's obviously a numeric not a categorical variable so that's what we're gonna be using and that's the only thing you can pull sum of squares from right it has to be a numeric variable doesn't make sense to use categorical um, so we're gonna talk about what sum of squares is doing first I've already calculated the mean and the standard deviation brought it to two decimal places using this um, the decrease decimal button up here so now I need to calculate before I can calculate the sum of squares in this formula or using this formula I need to calculate the deviation from the mean okay so how much does this score deviate from the mean so to do that all I have to do is subtract so I'm taking this number and subtracting the mean I will need to put dollar signs here um, on the two to make sure that it stays at this cell so it we are only pulling down so it's not going to change the column anyway um, but if we don't put the dollar sign it will pull down like this it will expect something in these columns or these rows but I only wanted to focus on this cell so that's why the dollar signs there and it's going to give me what 3 minus 3.63 is so obviously that's negative 0.63 and then I'm going to fill down here and it's going to populate all of the deviations from the mean so it sub took this number subtracted this number and that's what's here and then I am able to use the sum of squares formula on that column okay so sum of squares I'm going to put sum of squares on this column and it's going to give me the correct value now if I let's say I wanted to just do the full thing without using the formula I could do that um, if I can get this to move over now here is um, here's another way to do it squared values and that way I would do this I want to take that when you square something you multiply it by itself so I want to multiply 0.63 by 0.63 and that gives me 0 0.40 if you um, remember right from math classes a negative times a negative is a positive so frequently if you're going to do this by hand that is um, a common mistake which is why I don't want you to have to do everything by hand there might be small data sets we we have that you can do by hand and it's easy to find mistakes if you do them but if you're doing full huge data sets like this by hand it just takes entirely too long when you have the software to do it for you so and in the in the real world we do not calculate these things by hand in a research setting so I never calculate mean for anything by hand it has to be done using statistical software because the chances of me making an error in a large data set like that are pretty big um, but the machine will not um, make an error unless I put something in incorrectly so all I have to do for these because I don't need to worry about um, putting dollar signs since I want it to actually um, look at all of these rows I'm not focused on one cell I can fill down here and it will give me all the squared values now if I wanted to sum that it will give me the same value can't go over the actual cell it will give me the same value as I got before so that's how sum of squares is working behind the scenes but you do have to use the formula on the deviation from the mean um, not the variable itself okay 
So I hope this helps and let me know if you need anything else um, to explain this. I'd be happy to uh, make something up for you to view or read. So just let me know and I hope this helps.